Hey guys, it's the Icon here. I am going to show you um, this plugin called Ultimate Claims. And let me show you here. So, this is a plugin for Ultimate Claims. You can find it on Sangoda.com. And sorry if you hear some background noise. That's my baby. He's going to be nine months on the 12th. So he's awake <laughs> in the playpen. Okay, um, this plugin here uh, is really good. Um, let's see here. Um, <laughs> okay, this plugin is, uh, it's like, uh, claim protection, so, uh, other, um, grief, grief protections and stuff like that that's out there. But this is a whole lot better. This one here covers from top of the world to the bottom of the world. It claims the whole entire chunk. So each chunk is 16 by 16 for those who do not know. Um, I'm hoping that sometimes down the road that they might add the future to where you can adjust the size of the claim chunk that you want to be instead of just 16 by 16. Maybe you can bump it up to 18 by 18, 20 by 20, or 25 by 25, or 30 by 21. But this uh, plugin has it's been out for. Uh, let's see how long it's been out. It's been out since this last month. Oh, it's July, July 31st is when it's been released. And I. Seen Brianna, she's been working on it a lot lately, and as well as a few other people, uh, Lila, Jessicati, but they are great people to talk, uh, to ask support for uh, whatever questions you got. They are willing to ask you answer any questions you got. It gives you an overview of what they uh, it does. Uh, it gives uh, after you claim a certain land chunk you can put in stuff which only requires uh, iron and diamonds I don't know if they will be adding more items that you can put into it besides iron and diamonds it has to be ingots it cannot be blocks so it has to be ingots and uh, ores of iron and diamonds and it doesn't matter in whatever order you just put it in, like you see in here, it's like this iron, iron, and diamond, whatever, you know. And then on this here, it shows you uh, what is all protected. It's just showing that that whole entire chunk right there is protected. And you can add more to your claim. Uh, you can ban whoever you want from the, uh, the area. Uh, you can change the settings, but mobs, the fire, uh, the, I think, uh, the, yes, the, it's the spawning of the mods, mob griefing, the fire spread, the PvP, you can toggle all that on or off. And you can add people to it, and you, and I guess, you, there's role settings, um, I'm not sure exactly about the role settings yet, I haven't gotten that far into it, it's just gonna be me. Uh, and from my little area, well, my entire area, wherever I work on, it's going to be claimed by me. So, those who have multiple people in their area can claim. They can all either claim, or it's just the person who is in charge of the, uh, their claimed area to be claimed, I guess. But, um, let's go ahead and go to uh, permissions, which I already have. Uh, Let's see, power cell, co-op, permission, ban list, statistics, chunks, claim settings, claim lock, and claim home. Um, <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and go into the 
settings uh, and all that kind of stuff. Here they got the wiki of it. Um, it depends holographic displays and fault and economy. So if you got essentials or whatever other economies that are out there, I'm more familiar with essentials. So, and I highly recommend Essentials. Essentials seems to be a whole lot more better than that's out there that I can think of because I've always been with Essentials, so I can't see myself going with any other plugins. I, I just do. Um, they got GitLab, there's, okay, let's go to commands, permissions. Here is a list of all uh, the commands and permissions. You don't need a um, permission note just to, you know, give permission to, you know, to see what, uh, you know, it's just already there. Uh, it says claim accept for people who to uh, accept the invitation, claim for people who want to claim, unclaim, uh, you can ban, you can have to ban, unban permission note, dissolve, dissolve the claim. I'm not exactly sure why. I guess that's like un you know, get rid of your claim, the whole entire claims. They say if you got thirty claims out there and you just want to get rid of the whole entire thing instead of unclaim and claim and claim, I guess you just un get rid of it. Uh you can set home. Uh it's like, it's like a certain chunk to be the home. Uh the teleport to home. Uh there's an invite and there's a kick, leave, lock. You can lock your claim. I'm guessing that um, uh, locks your place. I guess people can't leave or go in. I'm not 100% sure. Um, then there's a permission for the admins to uh, reload the configuration of language files, edit the settings. Spawn points of various use and such as injections and all that. Um, and then name you could set display for your claim. Uh, visualize uh, this. Visualize is a bunch of little green particles. Uh, it's like some kind of enchant particles, I guess, or something like that. But um, you see little green particles floating around and flicking around on the uh, just above the surfaces of the area. Mostly you see it on the ground, like, uh, like dirt, sand, gravel, stuff like that. Um, and then you got the every single permission note for this here. And then uh, admins have the bypass. Uh, you can uh, give the permission to regular everyday players to either toggle mobs uh, talk about the fire spread, talk about the PvP, mob griefing, and the FTK. That is all optional right there. Um, I gave, I'm giving my players the, uh, the okay to talk about mob spawning, fire spread, PvP, mob griefing, and the FTK. I'm giving them that kind of permission. And, uh, I'm not giving them bypass because I... I, I want people to have, you know, be able to have their privacy if they don't want people, you know, outsiders coming into their uh, claim area. I used to have Townie, so I got rid of Townie. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on over to Minecraft and we will s s give this a try. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do such uh see there you go, that's one chunk. And now I'm going to go ahead and give myself some uh iron ingots and diamonds and a one chest. And I'm going to go ahead and go through here. That way, it's out of the way. I'm just going to put it here. Uh, right here. 
and then I think it's like this. I might I might be wrong, but either way, uh, we'll find out. Um. I forgot. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me see the things here. Uh, I, I did it and I just totally forgot how to do it again. So, give me a few seconds here and I'll figure it out. And this is... Okay, so it is in this chunk, so that's not an issue. Okay. Maybe it's the other way, so hang on. Huh? Okay, there you go. So, the, as you can see, what I did, oh, hang on. Let me do it, let me show you in my inventory. What I did is, um, let me put this in here. You get a chest, you place the chest down, and then, um, it was, you know, like that. A big X of diamond, uh, iron ores, and then diamonds surrounding it, like that. And then you just feed it with all, all that. Uh, hang on. And you have to be in uh, creative, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these up and get out of vanish. And then I'm just going to feed these. Wait, what is going on? How come I can't do that? Okay. So now it says one day, one hour and 36 minutes remaining. And it does go up. And then let's see. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Oh yeah, it goes off, it changes when you close it, it goes down the chest, and as you can see, it's rearranged it. If you take these all out, you can see, well, you will see a change. And it says five minutes remaining. See, see, there you go. 
it does it does that you know it kind of rearranges you know but it doesn't matter what particular order you put these ores in as long as you put them in there you know manually and then you just put stuff in I don't know if that is a little bug or what but um I don't know if it's intention to do that you can change you can see who these be the bands um, the settings you can uh, hostile mobs I do not want them spawning so I'm going to change that and I'm going to uh, see here we've got fire spread which is false I don't want fire spreading around I do not want PvP because my I just want my area to be totally friendly uh, mob briefing I'm just going to say boss and leaf decay it's the truth I want my leaves to go bye bye um, there's visitor settings and then there is member settings I'm not going to worry about member settings since I'm going to be showing it to you I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys let's go through the visitor, visitor settings uh, you want them to break the blocks false you can change that it's up to you um, and then block placing is false. Interactions false. I want that to true because I want people to be able to push buttons if they have to. Uh, doors. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to true. Mob killings true. Uh, redstone. I'm gonna set that to true. And go ahead and go back to member settings. They have, uh, if you want, you can let them place brick blocks, uh, place blocks, interact with um, items, eating, whatever. You don't want them hungry or starving to death while they're visiting you. Interact with the doors, like opening and shutting. Uh, there's mob killing. If you've got mobs and you want them to be able to help kill the mobs, you can go ahead and talk of that. And same thing with redstone work. Or switches. Let's see here. What else have I got here? Uh, I've got info. This just shows you I am the uh, you only have one member and you only have one claim area. And you can see these green little particles. And this will be your member claims. Right now, playtime eight minutes, role owner, member sins, whatever. I guess that just shows you who's you know, who's been in your uh, claim area for X amount of time. Max members as 10. I did have that to. Uh, oh, you know what? Because I didn't change it. <laughs> I didn't upload the, uh, the same configs. Um, let's go ahead and take care of that. Just give me a second here. I'll do some changes of that real quick. And I'll show you the config as well. Okay, let me switch over to that real quick. Uh, properties. Let's change that to Notepad Plus. There we go. Okay. Up here you can see iron ingot, diamond iron ingot. That's the pattern that's telling you how to do the power cell. It will show you the recipe as well in game. I also have that enabled for people who need to know the recipe, how to build the power cell that you just saw me put the diamond or diamonds and ingots inside the chest. Each diamond is 120, and each iron ingot is 30. 
um, the economy, vault, hologram, you have to have vault, economy, and holographic displays in order for all this to work. Power cell economy value is 100. Um, that is how much money should constitute one minute. I'm guessing the money is saying is the irons and diamonds. Holograph, hologram placed above the power cell, which is for it tells you the, the countdown, the timer of the, the remaining minutes or days or hours or months and so on. I think you can go on for more than 30 days or so, but I have yet to push it that far. Um, claims use boss bar, that's optional, that's up to you. I have boss bar and um, I'm just going to keep it to false because mine just, you know, I, I also have Skyblock, so I don't think anybody really wants to see that. Um, chunks must touch, that's up to you. Mine is going to be set to true. Um, invite timeout, 30 seconds or 30 minutes, I'm not sure. And then starting power is 10. You can change that to whatever you wish. Same thing with the invite timeout. Max chunks, I'm going to change that to 200 because some of us like to have big lands. And on top of that, my server is a small server. Um, if I get more people, I might change the amount of people being on the server. Max members, I'm going to go ahead and change that to... 100 just for the heck of it. And interfaces are uh, grace. You don't have to worry about the interfaces area. And don't bother with the system unless you are different, you speak a different language or you read different languages. There might have other languages for you to change that to. Just go look in your um, folder and then you can change it to whatever language that is. The MEI SQL, I suggest you leave it be unless you want to use your own database. I'm leaving mine be. You don't. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and then you go ahead and save that and then you update the FTP. And then you just do. Oh, hang on. I'm not sure what that means, but, um, let's check here. Yeah? Okay, it, it did update it. I don't know why it would say that, but that's a little confusing for me. <laughs> but here you go. Change type to, oh, uh, okay. Oh. I guess if you have more than one person, you can go by a certain order. But yeah, the stats will tell you total how many members are in there and then how max of members you are allowed to have. And uh, how many members you have in there besides you. So, there you go. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to slash spawn. And then I'm going to go ahead and go claim another chunk. Okay. And now it's just cover a whole nother chunk. I wonder if that changed anything. Yes, the more chunks you have, the more uh I think it goes down this goes. and I was saying I have three days, so let's see what happens if I claim another chunk. I just wanna test things out, you know.
two days. Okay, yeah, it does go down. If you more train, the more, uh, the, the less time spans you have. So it is something that you will have to, uh, see, yeah, oh, okay, okay, I like that. See, I'll be claiming a whole bunch as you see. I got a lot to claim. That's why I had upped my uh, up the amount of people to claim. And uh, so I need a lot. So that means I will have to go back down in there and increase, feed it for more uh, ores and stuff. in their chest like that. That's kind of weird. Eight days back up there. Okay. So now you get the idea of what you need to do and you can see the particles all over, I guess, put off and put back in the water. You have to feed it more diamonds and irons to be able to claim some more if you want to add more time. Be very um, cautious about that. I am hoping that um, in the near future that we can add a bypass for the admins, owners, to have um, unlimited time uh, or add that future into the config to have unlimited time or unlimited claims um, or a way you know or add a little more uh, ores into the system um, what else would be a cool thing to have Yes, okay, so land size, variety of land siding, variety of items to feed into the uh, the chest, t uh, power cell, whatever you want to call it. Um, also, uh, unlimited claim for the admins, kind of like a bypass for the admins to have it. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's about it. And unlimited members if they wanted to. Uh, th those are pretty much about it. Um, those are the things that I would love to see. I don't know if there's anybody else that would like to see different futures out of it. They do have a feedback site. I already put in my feedback. So I'm going to add more of the feedback. Uh, of what I would like to see, but I've seen some people already mention some of the things I have said. So I'm looking forward to some uh, more additional wonderful changes. I'm already liking this. Um, it seems much more less resource hog. Um, 
for the um for the um on the server. Let me see if I can change that to the form. I'm sorry, I didn't switch to the um the thing. So forgive me about that. Um Please, let's go to the website here. Come on, uh, there we go. So, let me go ahead and go to the website here. So ultimate claims, and then, uh, see the website here they get uh, let's see go to suggestions you log in and then you can give in um, they got all kinds of see that you can give feedback advice feedbacks to what you like to see or if they can add certain features to it they also have the FAQ up there and they also have discord you can see it says login with discord It says you can uh, request support, make suggestions, uh, you know, to uh, for the plugin, and uh, they do have Discord where you can ask uh, in live support, but you've got to be patient. You know, there, there's all those people are so many busy, and then we also have lives. Uh, let's go ahead and go to my admin see here real quick. See? Oh yeah, big difference. Um, by now the RAM usage would be already a hundred percent and it's down to 88 percent that's a big plus in my opinion that's a big plus so that's great it's kind of low right now because eh, the people are probably you know working or whatever so <clears throat> and on top of that I used to get like 20 some odd people and I don't know why you know kids grow up for change and you get more people. So and on top of that my kids would be playing right now. But they're not <clears throat> their computers are not handling uh the one point fourteen for some reason. So if you have any questions, be sure to click on the link below. I will try to add the information down below in the description to where you can get the plugin. And also um <clears throat> so be sure to click on the link down below in the description also they have discord for any help support that you need if you have any questions for me feel free to answer I will ask me the question in the comments <coughs> below and I will try to help you um, with whatever I can answer but I highly suggest if it's about the plugin Feel free to ask on the Discord server or on their website. It's very helpful, very friendly for people to ask questions with, and they are willing to help help you with any questions you have. And uh, I've been using uh, the plugins for quite some time. It all started with uh, the tree timber. And they got that plugin, and they did so much wonderful stuff to it. It just, it just grew. I'm loving their stuff. So feel free to ask me any questions. I've already shown you guys how to do the stuff. So if you need to go back, feel free to rewind the video and go over some of the, uh, what you've probably misunderstood or need a review over and over. So I, I am hoping that this helped. Thank you, and have a nice day.
Wake up. 